Well, it was another spicy weekend for politics and football, but we'll get to that one later. Here are a few takeaways. Our border is being invaded by hundreds of thousands, the highest number ever recorded. And your leaders, your uniparty representation in Congress and, of course, in the White House, are more concerned with people and borders in Ukraine. We cannot, under any circumstances, allow American support for Ukraine to be interrupted. Just let that line, that entire paragraph, sink in. Name another country on the face of the earth whose president would release a statement prioritizing the safety and security of another nation. Name one, I dare you. The U.S. of asylum is the only nation on God's green earth that does this, babysits, funds, and welcomes the world while neglecting its own citizens. And that's not a compliment, that's an embarrassment. And here's what else is an embarrassment. The Democrat Party, just as a whole, led up by this, the dimmest bulb on the Christmas tree. Swift. Moving on from that, though, I do want to get to more important matters, and that is this government shutdown and the criticisms of both Kevin McCarthy and Matt Gates. So on that kind of battle of the titans here, which one do you align with more? Which one do you think is more right, if either, in this new kind of feud of the right? I agree with you. I think... You know, as much as the left tries to ignore him, I think that the right is going to, in a lot of ways, embrace him if they don't like Donald Trump and Donald Trump ends up being our nominee. So it's almost kind of like the Bernie Sanders effect as well. He doesn't fit the mold, and a lot of people like that about him, even though some of his policies, some of his, I guess, preferences are a little bizarre. Some I agree with. I agree with all of his COVID thoughts for the most part. But uh, I also want to talk about what's going on in America, because you, as we both know, this is a circus. We had Philly last week, mass looting. We had, you know, Meatball, another influencer, being slapped with six felonies, thank goodness. Whether she will ever serve hard time for any of them is questionable. But then we have another story out of Michigan, and we have, you know, video of it. And I want your reaction. I don't know if you saw this yet. But there is a, a teacher in the school in Flint, Michigan, in academy. This seems to be the norm now. I think young people have gone feral, and I don't know how we correct it. I don't know if there's an antidote for that. Is this just the situation we're stuck with moving forward? Well, first of all, I pray that that teacher has a speedy recovery because no amount of money in the world is... An immigrant from South Africa cares more about exposing this invasion than your elected officials. You can do around asylum reform, so you're making sure that those who really need the protections get it quicker than seven years from now. Uh, but there's a different way to go about this. And, and what this administration will try to tell the American people is a lie, that all of them have to be released into the country. And that's simply not the case. Well, I think the problem is is that you can only detain them for a certain number of time a certain amount of time and then the facilities are overrun so when you don't have anywhere to put these people then they're forced to just release them because they have nowhere to put them we know that that's <laughs> another big part of this issue well I, I think that is an issue and we certainly ran into that during the Trump administration but that's why you need a, a multi-pronged approach you need to be working with your your partners in Mexico and last question for you you know, there was a movement a few years back to defund ICE, of course, defund Border Patrol, defund ICE. I haven't heard a lot about ICE these days. I would just assume that ICE really isn't necessarily operational because we know that for many years they've had their hands tied behind their back. But is ICE actually working right now to remove illegal immigrants from this country? I, I haven't seen that play out. Yeah, no, unfortunately not. Uh, I think this administration has basically defunded ICE through policy memorandum. Um, they haven't Gavin really done. Newsom becomes the Democrat nominee. Now, I know all of this sounds a little far fetched, but actually not as far fetched as the Democrats actually trying to run basement dementia Joe or czar of disaster Kamala Harris. They need an out and this Senate vacancy could have been just the thing. A missed opportunity for Gavin Newsom, if you ask me. But nonetheless, I still maintain Gavin Newsom will be the Democrat nominee. So gird your loins, America. Those are my final thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe Outkick on YouTube. From Nashville, God bless and take care.